Hey guys, Carl Brown from CatalLessons365.com. Uh, well, you guys voted it up. You wanted to see the rest of this Layla lesson, so we're going to take a look at all those, the actual chord progression during the verse, kind of active, and the little solo parts and stuff that happen over that as well. So there's three of them here, uh, but we're going to tackle it to see if we can get it down pretty quickly here. So we're going to start, uh, we're still in standard tuning, we're going to start on this C sharp minor 7 chord. <laughs> Full bar at the, well, five string bar at least, at the uh, fourth fret. And you're gonna just play the uh, sixth fret on the D string and the fifth fret on the B. So let's just get these chords down first. You got that, then you do the full bar and it's a basically a G sharp minor chord. So we have this. Then go back to that C sharp minor seven. Then we have three dominant seven chords in a row, all the same shape. We're gonna start here at the third fret bar. It's a dominant shape, so you're gonna have the bar and just your little finger there at the fifth fret on the B string and the fifth fret on the D. You're gonna let this third string, the G string, just be part of the bar there. And then move that up two frets. And up two more. All right, so that's kind of the first half of the verse. So let's take a look at the rhythm. So we got kind of a funky feel there. You're going to want to do a lot of hits and then kill the sound of the chord to give it a little bit of rhythmic definition. Obviously, it's much quicker than this. And then when you get to the, the dominant seventh chords, you're gonna pick the fifth string, then the fourth, and then pick both the third and second string together. Same thing here. And then when you get up to the seventh fret version of kind of now you can let it ring a little bit. So we have this. All right, now we have some parts where we have uh, kind of a Hendrix style of chord work where he's kind of are embellishing the notes. So he's got this F sharp minor chord here, which you can play the root with your thumb here, which I'm sure he would do. We have the bar across the first three strings of the second fret, and then the fourth fret here on the D. So play those, that bottom note, then the second and third string, and then you're gonna pull off four to two, Use your little finger to pull off to that bar. And coming back to hit the second and third string again. And then we The next chord is you're gonna slide from four to six on the A string. Then pick the fourth fret. Now you get when you do that, you can do a bar here at the fourth fret. Slide in and place that bar. So you got the fourth fret on the D string, and then you hit the fourth fret on the G and B together. And then you're gonna pull off six to four on the D. And back to the six on the A string. So from this chord. All right, now we have an E major chord. So you can hold the whole shape and then just play the low open E string. And then pick the, kind of the second, third, and fourth strings together twice. Now you're gonna pull off from the second fret on the high E string to the open string, and then hit the B string. So, so far, the pull off stuff. Then we have an A power chord, open A string, with the second fret on the D string. Then you can pull off four to two on that D over to four on the A. So all together we have so far. All right, from there we go back to A. F sharp minor chord. 
Let's go a B power chord. Just come over one string, down one string each. Just play the second foot on. Just play the third, fourth, and fifth string there. To an E power chord. Open E power chord. Then you hit the open A string to to lead us back into that main riff, the chorus. So we have this. All right, so just this obvious thing is layered here. That we have that, that's the low rhythm part of that. And we have the that we checked out in the first lesson. And by the way, in the very intro, when he's playing that, he has another guitarist, uh, Dwayne Allman, actually doing, doing this. It's kind of layered in there. So there's a lot of guitar layers in the song. We're hammering on from seven to 10, and then doing the hammer from seven to 10 with G, pulling back up to seven. 10 on the D, back to that 7 on the G. So if you're hearing that in the very beginning of the song, it's not that high part, it's that part at the very beginning of the song, going along with, which happens in every course. So anyway, those are the verse chords. We've made it through here. Now for the second verse, he does a little bit different. He does the same chords, just kind of varies them just slightly. We're taking a look at the chords here. We're gonna look, look at the solo that's going over these verses by Dwayne Allman in a second. So the second verse sounds a little bit different. See if you can pick up the difference. All right, so we have a little bit of variation there. Same opening chorus, same rhythm. Now when we get to this, where we did that before, that little pull off, you just play the chorus straight. Kind of arpeggiate slash, you know, strum. And when, instead of doing that on the next chord, we're going, very Hendrix influence. Hammer four to six on the A string. Over the fourth fret on the G and the D together. And then you pull off six to four on the D. And then just six on the A. So. To the E with no pull off again. And then to the A power chord that we did before, you do the same pull off there. So, so far we have the second verse for the second verse. All right, so now instead of, for the last couple of chords, instead of playing just the F sharp minor to the F to the E, we have the, we have that chord, version of the chord again. And we have the little pull off on it this time. That we did before. B power chord, open E. So, I'll play the very second half of the, the second verse there. All right, so let's take a look at these solos that goes on over this verse. It's just a whole guitar solo. We have that main melody. This happens over the chorus. And the verse, uh, the first verse you hear, um, which we just learned earlier, uh, the solo going over it sounds like this. So that's done by Dwayne Allman, by the way, if you guys don't know that. So we're going to have a half step bend. You're going to play the 13th fret. This is coming out of... Right when the vocals come in for the first time. So you play that 13 and bend it up a half step. Now come back to the 12th fret and that's a whole step bend and release at the 12th fret. So instead of bending to that note from a half step down, now you're going to bend from a full whole step down, release, pull off to 9, and then do a whole step bend to the 10th fret. 
all together. And now you're going to do a whole step bend release again at the 10th fret. And pull off to 9. And do a whole step bend at the 11th fret on G. And then you're going to bend that again. And release. And resolve it to 9. So here we go. Now let's finish this phrase, but pick in the 11th fret again. And then do it a whole step bend. All right. So the next phrase out of the all right. So we have uh, so we have that whole step bend there. Release it nine eleven nine. So we have this. You can do it, come over to the D string, hammer on nine to eleven to nine on the G. Now this kind of stuff is kind of hard to memorize, just, just to let you guys know, because it's he's literally the whole second half of the verse after he gets past these little, little melodies. Everything is based around just these four notes. He's just kind of improvising with just those four notes. Um, so that kind of thing, because there's not that much variation going, but they're all slightly different, makes them the harder to memorize. And if something was just a you know a bunch of notes across the neck. So let's just, you know, we'll continue here with these phrases. The second and third uh, verses, I'm going to show you how to kind of do the same thing and just make it your own. So we have... So at, coming up on that hammer on to 11, then the 9, then you play 10, then you're going to play 9 twice, down to 11 on the D, back to the... 9, 11 on the G. One more time. All right, now you're going to do another bend. And he adds a different note here on the B string. He does a whole step bend and then play the 12th fret on the, the B. And pick the 11 again. Release to the 9. And then hammer on quickly from 9 to 11 on the D. Alright, now we're going to do another hammer on from 9 to 11 on the D. And we're going to add those three notes at the end. After you've hammered on to 11, pick 11 again on the D. And then 9, 11 on the G real quick. Then two bends at the 11th, two whole step bends. Release. And then end it the first... Um, verse with that note, the ninth fret on the G. So all together. Then to the main solo. The uh, yeah the chorus riff, so um, so that he does that kind of thing in every single verse. There's three verses, three choruses. Those next three verses, uh, we've looked at the the chords for the first verse and the second verse. And by the way, the chords are really similar to the second verse and the third verse. So just kind of play the second and third the same way when it comes to the chords. For the solos, they all over the verses they all start the same way. And when you get down here to this third string, he pretty much just messes around for the rest of the verse on those four notes. And always ends on that note. So my recommendation, instead of trying to do everything note for note like we just did the first one, start them all the same. And when you get there, Just do your own thing on those four notes, and that's exactly what he's doing for uh, the rest of those verses. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for GuitarLessons365.com. Bye-bye.